I'm gonna give uh, I'm gonna give uh, PokerStars T-shirt to the person who can guess who my third favorite Bulgarian player is. Well, for once, if this hand actually gets going, Palakis in a rare spot of actually dominating Dimov's hand, but it really depends if anyone's interested post-flop. Up and down, though. Now for Dimov. Unlikely to fall to this bet from Palafis. Agreed. Nerp. Are you ready for the six? <laughs> Unbelievable. Ouch. I do apologize if I was involved in any way in making that happen retrospectively in time. I just think it was uh, it's just been clear the way this guy's been running during this heads up battle. What do you the queen on the end just to cement his death? No, is okay. Oh. So Palafas hits a straight himself oh, on the river, is, but it's is, the dummy end of the straight. Yeah, this is the worst thing yeah. ever. Yeah, there was me just thinking about the queen, but yeah, this is this is potentially even worse. Oh, Lord. Oh. I mean, this is just an absolute brain melter, isn't it? Oh man, a full rack of mackerel. He's bombing it. 680,000 in the middle. And he bets 1.2 million. And must be praying for exactly what's going on here. Man, Parlavis is laughing as if almost like he knows. How do you not raise here? Like, there's no chance you fold, obviously. Like, none. But how do you not raise? Right, he's only losing to one hand. He's losing to exactly 10-8, right? But don't forget the mindset is that he's probably going, I can't believe this guy's clearly got 10-8. But yeah, I can't, I can't believe he's not. Well, I don't know, I don't know. I suppose you're right. Maybe that's part of the act. Maybe he's giving the whole, oh, God. Well, I raise all in, I guess, then. This could be over right here. How good can you run? Exactly. That's what his head's doing to him right now. But the fact that he can even think how good can you run here is probably bad. Agreed. In the but long that's run. what I'm saying is ultimately I think he's got himself in such a paranoid spot. Ordinarily he wouldn't be going, well, this guy's clearly got 10-8. But it's a magic trick. Frederick says this is the end. I don't think so. I mean, Palaf is never raising here. But how does he not call? I kind of, I, I feel what Joe's saying, you know, if he doesn't call here, then it's for the wrong reasons. Yeah. Manta says, this is what I call a bad beat for Perlofis. Well said, dude. Yeah, I mean, quite literally spelling it out for us. Keep this guy out of the booth. If he folds here, I'll take my shirt off and run around the building. Oh. There he is, my number one favorite Bulgarian player, Simeon Nidenov. My number four favorite Bulgarian player, Dimitar Danchev. Curiously, in trying to guess who number three on your list is, people are naming people you've already named. Including Matt Harper, yes, I, I saw. Well, she only ever half listens to the stream. I mean, you didn't say that you couldn't have the same person a couple of times. Maybe that's how much you like them. <laughs> didn't make it to second, but filled the third and fourth spot. Snake's alive. What on earth is going through Danny Palafa's head here? He must be just screaming at himself. Benny says he's never, ever going to raise this over bet. Never gets called by anything worse. He's legit thinking about folding.
1.2 million to call. Trying to make me fall off the split. Ah! I have to take my shirt off and run around the building. Wow, wow. you do. You, you did promise. That's incredible. Great lay down by Danny Palafas. 